Hey guys, Peter here to do an album review. Today I'm here to talk to you guys about the brand new album from Red Moon Architect Kura, out April 5th. The album has three tracks and it's 40 minutes in length. Now these three tracks might as well be one because the whole record is really one single track divided into three chapters, if you will. So don't, don't get too concerned about the three tracks. This album is really designed for you to listen to it from track one to track three in order. Uh, it, it really feels like one single single track. It really doesn't feel like three separate tracks. It just feels like one long track divided into three chapters, into three different stages uh, of, of grieving, if you will. This record is extremely hard to describe, extremely hard for me to, to talk about because you cannot really sit here and talk about guitar riffs, solos, lyrics, orchestration, melodies. Uh, I cannot honestly say anything about any of that because this album is not about the music as much as it is about the emotions that it carries about the pain the suffering the death the emptiness all of these words are the best words i can find to describe this record because this album is really more about emotion about how uh, somebody feels on the inside and allows those feelings to come on the outside in the form of music so think about it imagine yourself in perhaps one of your biggest moments of grief, your biggest loss in your life, a moment where all you feel is despair and emptiness and there's no hope in sight. And imagine somebody giving you a microphone or a paintbrush or, or any, any method for you to exteriorize the feelings you have on the inside. This album is that. This album is the, the uh, allowing of someone to exteriorize all the feelings that they had inside to the outside so they come in a very raw and crude format but that is what makes the record work that's what makes it what it is it's just it's it's pain and suffering in its purest form you're really getting a glimpse at the person behind the record the person that put this album together you're really getting a glimpse into a moment in his life when perhaps he was at his darkest and this is just me uh, really taking a step, taking a, a leap of faith, if you will, because I don't, I don't know the behind the scenes, what drove this record to come to existence. So I don't know the behind the scenes. I don't know enough to really make an educated uh, evaluation of the record from that perspective. I can only speak from how it sounds to me, a listener who doesn't know any background whatsoever to the record, but sitting down and listening to these tracks, listen to this album from the first to the last song, all I can tell you is how it felt to me and how I, I connected with it is I put myself in the place of the person that would recreate this record. If it was me, what state of mind would I be in in order to put something like this together? And that state of mind is nothing less than insanity or at least on the very edge of insanity. When you're starting to lose grip with reality, when you start losing the no notion of what what is real and what is not when the pain and the darkness and the demons you're in, in your life are so many that they start taking control of your mind and nothing seems real anymore the boundaries between what's real and what's just your on your mind become really blurred and you just don't know the difference between them that is the impression that i got listening to this record that's the sense that i got from this record in terms of where the the creative mind came from when this record was put together to me there is a journey there there is a journey from the first song to the last song and like i said you really have to listen to them together because this really feels like one single track so to me there is a journey there and then there is a journey that starts in the depths of a mind really gone insane or at least like i said on the edge of insanity where you start to blur the difference between uh, reality and fiction and the pain and the suffering and the emptiness specifically the emptiness it's so great that it hurts you feel so empty inside you feel like an absolute empty vessel and that emptiness hurts so much that all you have coming out is pain and suffering and anguish and, and and you cry for help but there's no one around so that's to me how the journey starts and then that journey really takes the person through a path uh, in search of light in search of something beyond that pain and suffering you find yourself halfway through it surrounded by darkness and in the darkness you find comfort you find a sense of tranquility you find a sense of belonging you you start to feel one with that darkness almost almost feeling comfortable enough with a sense of in death perhaps there is the the answer that you're looking for 
And that gives you a little bit of peace and tranquility. And that's how you get through the middle of this album. In the end, I, I believe, in my mind, listening to it, you finally reach that light. You finally reach that 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 door that takes you to the next side. And you come to the, real, the real, uh, realization that the light, perhaps, is nothing more than just a different shade of gray. That it's all in your mind. That's all within you. You're the one that creates the barriers. You're the one that creates light and darkness. You're the one that really controls what your mind is dictating your body to feel, all those emotions. Everything can be controlled, but it's so hard to control it. And sometimes you let that darkness fester and grow and spread. And every you feel like everything you touch, everything you love dies around you. Almost like it's your own fault. Almost like it's... You, you, like you're the cause of that pain and suffering. So to me, this is the record. This is what this album is all about from my perspective. But we're talking about art here. So the same way 10 different people can look at the same painting and get 10 different opinions on what the painting represents because everybody brings their own emotional baggage. Everybody brings their own emotional experiences. And when they look at that painting, everybody sees something different. No different than reading a book. Everybody takes a different piece of that book with them. So I believe this record is the same way. Ten different people could listen to this record and take something completely different out of it. Ten different people could listen to it and have different emotions about it and feel something completely different about it. What the record truly is about, I guess I will never know. Only the person who created can perhaps share some light in terms of explaining what emotions, what what state of mind drove him to the point where this is the outcome of that state of mind? So we'll perhaps never know that, but it's not really about the person that created and trying to understand where he was when this was created. I think the most important thing to take away from this is that how does it feel to you? Do you connect with it? Have you ever been in a situation where you felt that lonely, in that much pain, with that much suffering, that if you were given the opportunity, this would be the outcome. This would be the result of that pain and suffering. To me, that is the reflection that this record made me think about. That this re record really made me, uh, you know, evaluate my own personal beliefs and ideas and how I would handle certain situations. And I think if I look back and I had the opportunity to do what these guys did with this record, I think a lot of my emotions perhaps would have been very similar specifically when you're going through loss and pain and there's certain moments in your life that are extremely difficult that all you see is darkness around you and you start to give in and you start to to feel comfort in that darkness so to me that is what i took away from this record that is what i think everybody should take away from this record is how it connects with you and how do you uh, digest it because this is not an easy album to digest by no means this is very different I'll bet you, you've never heard anything like this up until now, and perhaps you'll never hear anything like this from now going forward. All right, guys, this was Red Moon Architects, Kura, out April 5th. If you want a different experience, music-wise, uh, a, a path of no return, give this album a look. Check it out and see it for yourself, all right? Take care, guys.